You find Sunder waiting at the beach, listening to the crickets. Hey. Hey, cutie. Been working hard, huh? Going to the dunes, making friends? I don't know how you do it. You work and work and just keep working. Maybe it's just because it's been 200 years, but life seems exhausting to me. Vampirism seems tough. You sound burned out. <laughs> yeah, probably. Though not by the sun. Eh. Eh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Vampire life was cool at first. I guess everything loses its appeal over time. Probably. Sunder clears his throat. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, I think I have something for him. Uh, scotch. He got maxed. Again. Top shelf, huh? I didn't know you were a drink snob. But I'll roll with mm -hmm. it. So, was there anything you wanted to ask me about the vampire situation? What's the deal with Mandy? You literally drink blood. Can you turn into a bat? Are there werewolves too? <laughs> um, oh, I'm split. I want to ask about Mandy, but I want to ask if you could turn into a bat, which I don't think so. Let's ask about Mandy. Mandy's my blood mother and has been since 1812 or so. Wow. Mandy is his mom? Wait, blood mother. What's blood mother? Does that mean she turned you into a vampire? I was a nobody in Benares, India. When she found me, turned me, and took me in. Okay, so she turned him into a vampire. So here I am, eternally young, because she liked my face. <laughs> uh... We haven't been lovers in a long time, if that's what you're wondering. You literally drink blood. Can you turn into a bat? What? Turning into a sword isn't enough for you? But no, I can't. No invisibility either. At least not yet. Maybe when I get old. <sighs> Eesh, I hope no older vampires are watching us right now. Creepy. But I am allergic to sunlight, garlic, and churches. Oh well. Are there werewolves too? Short answer, no. Long answer, deaf wolves have some moon-related baggage. Deaf wolves. What? What's a deaf wolf? Hmm. But they're never migrated to Calif California, so I wouldn't worry about it. And you literally drink blood. Uh huh. Yeah, it's not bad. Mixes well with vodka. I almost don't miss normal food. Except fried dough. I'd kill to eat a donut. But even donut makers don't taste similar. Sad stuff. No more questions here. Now I can't to ask you a question. The table's turn. Ooh, what's this? Enemies? Shrapnel, who die when bleed while bleeding can explode. That is amazing. Fair warning, it's a bit of a doozy. I've been feeling restless and purposeless the last 50 years or so. What would you do with 200 mm -hmm. years? What do you really, really want, honestly? Money, love, happiness? Yeah, same here. I just want to enjoy life, you know? Every moment. Hmm. Too bad everything is so much work. Even just thinking about the next 100 years is tiring. Everything reminds me of death. Like, it's all rotting and doomed. Whoa, look at his eyes. His eyes transform. Except, sometimes, when you hold me. There's a moment of silence as he gazes at you, barely breathing. Make me a vampire too. Come back to me. Yes, absolutely. Sunder follows you home. He waits politely for you to invite him in. You spend the night together. His cold skin warms slightly by yours. Sunder returns your affections with a warm hunger, but seems a little distracted. With a warm hunger. After your kissing, his teeth accidentally nip your neck, drawing blood. Ouch! Careful. Ow, I like it. <laughs> Ow, I like it. <laughs> okay, this is the funnier one. <laughs> ah, you like playing with fire, huh? Gonna get burned one day. You enjoy a few more kisses and bites before he disengages, disentangles himself. I should go. I'll see you around, cute. See ya. He lets himself out and you drift into an uneasy sleep. I was not sure if that was gonna make him uh, come to my home. 
An uneasy sleep? I'm not a vampire, am I? Not much to do in the daytime here. Mostly just talk to spiders and daydream about you. How's your day going? Same old. Gonna doonge, sleepy. Gonna doonge. So hard working, it hurts. The doonge feels less like work with you, though. I'll say that. Okay, so I actually want to doonge one more time. I completed this one. Okay, let's go to La Rosa to the Dunge. I gotta try out the cat, come on. Which floor? Obviously start at the first floor. You get in the elevator, going down. That is so cool. Oh man, let's go. Okay, so that's the immobilization. Wow. Easy. And I got glue, which I needed. But I need cloth, actually. Meow. There's nothing. So sad. Oh, look at my feet. Oh, I love the paw prints behind it. I didn't even notice that. A relaxation area with the cat. You find a more private part of the club. The ropes seem to keep the monsters away. Meow. Meow. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, let's offer a gift. Uh, what do cats like? I don't think the cat will like any of these. Would the cat like chocolate truffles? Some kind of bean processed to perfection. Okay. Cat did like the chocolate. Pocket curls up and seems to instantly fall into a cat nap. In the cozy quiet, you soon find yourself also falling into a light dough snooze. In a dream, you smell something delicious. You reach out to find the source and stuff it in your mouth. You bite down into something juicy yet crunchy. You slowly realize it was a tasty mouse. You wake up gagging to find Pocket staring at you intently. Your life is gross. You sent me that dream. Pocket tilts his head cu curiously, but doesn't answer. You both stretch and get ready to return to battle. That's, uh, interesting power you have there, Pocket. I gotta change weapons. Sorry, bud. Uh, you're still at the lowest level. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what is this area? Very romantic. Whoa. Sawyer's eyes widen. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, uh... A bouquet of flowers? Roses? I really don't think... Flowers, okay. Wow, that's so nice of you, thanks. I'm pretty sure they would have appreciated the food better. This reminds me of a valentine bear I gave to my friend in 4th grade. You would have loved the bear, wouldn't it, you? It was really cute little white teddy bear holding a red heart. I thought it was just a nice toy she liked, but the other kids thought it meant I had a crush. They teased me and her endlessly and I found the bear in the trash. We didn't talk much after that. Aww. They fall silent. Looking at the heart of the heart balloons. So, uh, what is this? Just a nice place to be, or are you, do you, I mean, I like you. Let's make out. <laughs> Just a nice place. I like you. Oh, well, good. I like you, too. They gave you a shy smile. Thanks for bringing me. It's nice to be with you here. Careful when you're swinging me. I wouldn't want to pop the balloons. Ah, I would love to pop balloons. 
You're, you're staying with me, Sawyer. What's this? Already? Sawyer stretches, enjoying the night air. Oh, look. The stars are out. It's been a while since I've seen them. I used to go stargazing with my aunt. Okay, okay. Okay. I don't know those. They're old, and each has a myth of a hero attached, like the rose over there. Alright. I read all of this already. Um... Something sexy. Whoa, I mean, um, yeah. yeah. My thoughts exactly. You liar. You said <laughs> you said silly before was your thoughts exactly. No, more zines. Yes, thank you. Sorry. All right, lowest one is you. But I should probably... You're harder to actually use. No fears to be found here. A place with taste. I thought it was impossible in the dungeon. This bar won't have the best wines, but perhaps we can find at least a digestive. Ah, yes, perfect. He pulls a bottle out from some crevasse under the bar. Here's a lovely cardamaro. Not an amaro at all, you see, but a wine aperti with blessed Tissel. Hmm? I have no clue what he says most of the time. I do wonder what cocktails an expert bartender might put in it into. Let's make one. I want to taste it. I'll just watch. Let's make one. <laughs> Aha, there's the boldness I admire. Well, let's see what we can do. He pulls out an assortment of liquors and liquors. Together, you select a few. There's no stirring spoon. Here, use me to stir it, and then we'll see. You stir it and have a taste. You almost spit it out. <laughs> it's like someone poured cough syrup into a handful of dirt. Well, we tried. In retrospect, a waste of fine cardam maru, but we learned in the process. <laughs> Let's leave the bartending to the bartender, shall we? Would you like to offer a gift? Let's see. He might like a travel guide. Yeah. How can I refuse such a thoughtful gesture? Thank you, Lola. Our talents lie elsewhere. Alright. I am gonna go this way. If I can quit running into walls. Ooh, easy. I like easy. Okay, Isaac takes a deep breath and releases it looking pleased. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't really have much to offer him. Yeah, I don't really have anything to offer. Voted most cheerful in their graduating class. I guess. He definitely loves that. <sighs> Finally, somewhere I can breathe, and is that pine I smell on the breeze? Did you know just looking at trees reduces stress and lowers blood press pressure? I believe it. I tried putting up posters of trees in my office, but they didn't have the same effect. Hmm. Nothing like the real thing, I suppose, in nature or in combat. No matter how much I enjoy dueling, the dunge is where the real growth happens. Now's not the time for looking at trees, now's the time for action. Let's go. All right, I should have taken that. You're max, so that's good. Yep, you're next. Okay, I'm having an easier time with uh him, definitely. What is the uh concert? That is so cool. A stage, hmm. huh? When I was young, people told me I should use my looks. Be an actor. Be a singer. Wrong. Uh. I mean, I tried for a little while. I'm certainly not shy. But as much as I like attention, I really prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions. Meaningful conversation. Understanding one another. Intimacy, you know? I'd rather dance alone in my room than on a stage for strangers any day. But the best will always be with you, of course. <laughs> Up close, just the two of us. When the time is right, anyway. Would you per like to give a gift? Nope, I don't have any gifts for you. You decide not to give a gift right now. But now is the time for battle and blood. Blood! Blood! 
blood. Relaxation in the stars. I'm pretty sure we never built an outdoor section. It's nice though. It'd be good to escape the crowds now and then, at least. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have any gifts for you, I'm sorry. You decide not to give a gift right now. And it's pretty it's pretty hot on the dance floor, not that I mind getting sweaty. Sweating is healthy. That's how you know you're getting good exercise. Mm -hmm. How do you prefer to do your workouts? Regularly, intensely, competitively? Never. I guess if I'm doing workouts, I will like competitive. That's part of the way I like about you. Part of what I like about you. You're always ready to make things fun. But you know what else I like about you? <laughs> Being your weapon. Let's get back in there and get sweaty. Yeah. All the way now. Max! Okay, two more. Valeria. Woo! I am about to die. I didn't even notice this in the middle. Royal crown. I don't need that, though. That's the end of the level. Over oh, my goodness. Come get me. All right. I'm not looking forward to this. You can come after me. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh! Come on! Not fair at all. You guys. I don't know what's the highest level for my characters. That is not cool. At least I got Valeria all the way up. But I got one more to do to get all the way up. So it's not fair. You stumble out of the dunes, tired and sweaty, breathing hard. Your weapon transforms. Ah. Oof. I think I overdid it. My bed is going to feel so, 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 so good. <laughs> A whispering hiss stirs the underbrush as the shadow shifts, slithering. <sighs> Who is this joker? He advances towards you slowly. Hello again. Stay back. Are you a friend? Hello again. <laughs> the stranger smiles widely and takes another small step closer. Your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm. So his arm's a blade. Oh my goodness, I see. And swings it in an arc, narrowly missing you. Ugh. Back off, jerkwad Lola. We should get to safety. Run, now! You slip up, you split up, and run into the night. It doesn't seem like he follows you, but you still lock your door behind you quickly when you arrive home. So, as we understand, there have been weapons, weapon people going missing. And I feel like Eric is the cause of that. Like his friend right here is the person taking the weapons and bring them into the dungeons, harming them. That's what I feel. So Eric is very dastardly. That's my theory. But you still lock your door behind you quickly when you arrive home. I didn't want to arrive home. Jeez, my goodness. Jesse finally messages me back. Holy smokes. So, Jesse, what's up? Summer's almost over. Can't believe it went so quickly. Wait, what? No way. Wait, what? Or no way? No way. Yeah. Yeah, way. You're only here for the summer. That apartment's lease is almost up. And you have a flight home soon. Remember now? Do I have to go? It was a good summer. Do I have to go? Well, yeah. Your mom will kill me if I let you become homeless. Anyway, I have some news. You're probably busy, but Eric's been acting even weirder than usual. Plus, I went by his shop the other night. And there was 
were weird lights and sounds inside. I think maybe he's up to something. Definitely. I don't want to know. Definitely. I'm thinking we go over and just gather intel. You up for it? Okay, let's do it. Great. Meet me outside the weapon shop after it gets dark. Sounds great. Owe you a drink for the other night. And I miss hanging out just as like humans. Daggering's fun, but not as fun as your lips. Come by my studio. I'm there now. That katana thing is Eric's friend, right? I'm gonna stab him straight in the heart. I swear to God. Friends don't make friends feel unsafe. Oh, she's talking about stabbing Eric in our... Oh, jeez. Sunder. Hey, I have something to tell you. Let me know when you have a sec, and I'll come over. Now is good. Cool. I'm on my way. Wait. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean that. You wait for Sunder to show up. You wash your hands just as there's a knock at your door. Come Thanks. in. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Hi. Oh, weird timing, but I, uh... I have some bad news. Yeah, what's the bad news? You feel your chest get heavy, as if a weight were pressing down. As clear as day, you see in Sunder's face that he's about to break up with you. Your mind resists, imagining how things could be different between you. You imagine a reality in which he had infinite love to give you. His heart, yours forever. No, I want the truth. Can't my fantasy be real? No, I want the truth. <laughs> Sunder sighs, stealing himself for what he's about to say. You said you want me to be truthful, right? So here we go. Is he going to propose or something? I don't think we should see each other anymore. Not... Not like we have been. Okay, wait. I'm not enough for you. I never was and never will be. What do you mean? I've loved spending time with you and seeing the world through your eyes. Okay, I got the last one. Blunt. Heavy finishers also briefly stun enemies. Heavy finishers also steal life from enemies. I gotta have the life steal. It made me remember what it's like to be young and mortal, I mean. Are you gonna turn mortal? Is that even possible for a vampire? You're great, but you deserve someone who really loves you, you know? Okay. I just don't have the energy. I'm too old, or too lazy, or... I just can't. I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. If there's one thing I've learned in 200 years, it's self-care. Self-care is breaking up? More like selfish care. Okay. Well, I I didn't really want to date him in the first place. Um... Okay. Yeah, uh, good, great, cool. You wonder if you actually, if you're actually okay. You aren't sure yet. We've had fun, haven't we? As far as I'm concerned, that's a win. Uh... I have one of these around, so I thought you might want it. You're a good wielder, wielder after all. He gives you a small but heavy wooden box. You open it to find a quartz whetstone. <laughs> Don't read too much into it. It's just a piece of rock, okay? With a whetstone, you're a master wielder. You gain double love with all weapons. Unlimited by love rank. Unlimited by love rank. What's that even mean? Unlimited by love rank. You gain double love with all weapons. Unlimited by love rank. Unlimited by love rank makes no sense to me. Maybe you'll find someone more deserving. You can use it on someday. Hmm. I mean, we can still dunge or do other things. Feel good together. I've been missing you. I just want to touch you. I understand if you don't want me to, but... What do you think? No, Sunder. One last time, sure. But I love you. Yeah, sure. The words are barely out of your mouth before you're pulled into his embrace. <laughs> He's playful and attentive. His fangs and blade edge sharp against your throat. Whoa! But as soon as it's over, he erup he's abruptly up and getting ready to leave. Thanks for the fun, Lola. You're my fave mortal for sure. I'll miss you. See ya. See you later, I hope. 
He lets himself out. Your throat feels tight, constricting. You have reached max love level with Sunder. A few hours pass with a blurry haze until you fall into a light sleep. You're woken by a knock. Through the people, you see a worried-looking Mandy. What do you want? Come in. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I tried to help you, but, well, you deserve better. That's all. Do you love him? <sighs> I guess I do, yeah. Like a little brother. Makes it hurt more to see him keep doing this. Sometimes I think he'll learn something, something but he never does. <sighs> Though, I knew what kind of man he was when I turned him those years ago. Yet, I still keep expecting better. Maybe I'm the stuck one. We do our best. Hey, I tell myself that. I don't want to become a vampire. It keeps giving me the option, but I don't want to be one. I tell myself that, but it doesn't help much. I don't normally do this, but want to hug before I go? Yeah, sure. You let her wrap you in a surprisingly strong hug. You feel her inhale deeply. Oh. Wow, I can see what Sunder was crazy for. You smell delicious. Sorry, too soon, too soon. Keep being good, Lola. You're better at it than most. She gives you a little wave as she leaves, and you lock the door behind her. That's not gonna stop her. That's not gonna stop her. I'm good, guys. Calm down. Bug Princess Zine. Mom is mom is texting again. Yay! That looks cool. Was not expecting to play this long, but yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm going to run out of stuff soon. I really need cloth. Ooh, ants. Okay. So, uh, that was cool, but summons a bug ally. Once upon a time, a girl loved a bug. Fireball, sleep, and what's this? Invoke Zeus, Thor, set. And cause out a thunder strike. I want a bug companion. That sounds pretty awesome. Hey, I heard it's over with Sunder. Are you okay? Not really. I'll be okay. That's all anyone can hope. I'm here for you, cuz. Talk to you later. I hope I'm not gonna get broken up by all of them. I'm sorry for er uh Mandy said she came to see you. I'm sorry for everything. I hope she didn't make it worse. Just go away. I miss you. Whatever. I miss you. <laughs> sorry. I hope we can fight still fight in so together sometimes, but I know I asked for space, so I'll stop bothering you. It's okay. It's okay, Sunder. Don't don't worry about it. I'd like to talk to you again. About things that matter. Can we meet me? Can you meet me at the mansion one more time? Sure. I think I'm almost done with this game. Thanks. At the at the mission. At the mission. Where's the mission? Mom. Mom, mom, mom. Can you believe you've already been in Verona Beach for most of the summer? I can. It feels like it's been forever. I miss you. How's it going? What'd you do today, sweetie? Just working dunes. Just kissing some swords. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Ooh, be careful, swords are sharp. But I'm glad you're enjoying yourself responsibly. You're only one young once. <laughs> Eric, did you do something? Something I should know about? Like what? I was attacked. I sure it was a misunderstanding. Don't be so sensitive. Eric, you are a jerk. Never mind. I know what happened. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay. Thank you for being sorry about it. Pocket. Okay. Letting Pocket out again. We live near the Paradise Lost Cafe. So probably look around there if you want to find him. 
Sawyer. Hey, so the dunes, right? That means you work in the gig economy. It, the gig economy. You do too. I guess so. I don't know. You do too. Yeah, but I can't interview myself. I have an assessment assignment from my economic class. If you have a minute, I'd like to interview you. Come to the Paradise Loss when you can. Sweet. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it there. It's been fun. There's new items in here, right? That looks sweet. I look like one of those bullfighters. I know it's not a bullfighter outfit, Dark Prince, but I like this better. Not for me. I'm a king! <laughs> no, I, I definitely love this French beret. Alright, so thank you so much, guys, for joining me in this playthrough. Um, I am starting to fear that I'm getting awfully close to the end of this game. See, uh, level 6... I'm getting really close to the end, and uh, I have not fully leveled up everything. And Master Wielder, love points are no longer limited by rank. And all love gained is doubled. So, so I guess that's given to me so that I can level up everyone faster. Then I guess I have to probably make a decision on who to love. And I already broke up with, with uh, Sunder. Um, I'm pretty sure I could have chose to be with him. Or maybe that's part of the story. Maybe he wants some space and... Yeah, he broke up with me, but I still have the option to choose him in the end and become a vampire. Who knows? But, no matter what your time zone may be, guys, catch me in the next video. Have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.